and friends, it's Bob and Fran, healthy lifestyle coaches, authors, and proponents of a whole food plant-based diet for your health and the health of your family. You are going to really love this video. Most of you know that we don't actually do cooking on our YouTube channel, but Fran is a fabulous plant-based cook and likes to keep her recipes low in cost, minimal in effort, and high in flavor. And today she's going to share three dinner recipes that I personally love. A quick tip here is to be prepared to write out these recipes as Fran explains them. And you also may want to replay this video again. Uh, it's short and uh, probably worth your while to get the recipe straight, although they're very simple. Right. So be sure to watch to the end, by the way, for Fran's bonus dessert recipe. Actually, two of them, which are my favorites. So here we go. What's number one on the menu, Fran? First is my quick and easy three can Mexican chili. Oh yeah. It is so ridiculously simple. Even Bob would be able to make it. Are you sure about that? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think so. So all you need is one can of black beans that have been drained and rinsed. That I can do. One can of kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed. No problem. And one can of organic corn that has been drained. Uh, pretty simple. And salsa of your choice. Yeah. So all you do is mix all the ingredients together in a pot and heat it through. You can serve it with guacamole, organic corn chips, or your favorite whole grain bread. I mean, that's the whole recipe? That's it. <laughs> it's very simple and fast, and it tastes so good. Plus, it's very nutritious. This recipe is a must-try for sure. Yeah. We eat it quite often, and it never fails. We have it for lunch or for dinner. Right. But it's a great, fast Recipe. Easy recipe. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Yeah. We've served at the company and they loved it. Now my second recipe I call effortless Indian curry. And it's just that. Just four ingredients in the savory ethnic dish. It takes one jar of vegan Jalfrezi simmer sauce mm -hmm. that you can buy in a supermarket or an Asian food market. I heard that Trader Joe's has it. They have it. Um, my regular supermarket has oh, it. Yeah, it, it's easy to find. Two potatoes. How do you spell that? J A L F R E Z I. From what I have found, it is the only curry Indian curry sauce that is vegan. I see. Okay. So it's one because all the others contain uh, animal products. So it's one jar of this Jalfrezi simmer, simmer sauce. sauce. Okay. Two potatoes cut up. Okay. One can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, they go by both names, drained and rinsed, mm -hmm. and eight ounces of mushrooms of your choice cut up. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use either button mushrooms or um, baby bellas. Mm -hmm. So you pour the sauce into a pot, mm -hmm. add the potatoes, chickpeas, and mushrooms, mm -hmm. and cook on low heat till the potatoes are t tender. Mm -hmm. Then you serve it over brown rice. So flavorful and so easy to make, and it adds nice variety to your cooking. Yeah, I like those uh, ethnic dishes. Yeah. In fact, I just realized that the three of them today are <laughs> one's from Mexico, one's yeah. from India, and the next one is from Thailand. Okay, three <laughs> of our favorite places. Hi, friends. Just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed, and the result is pure, delicious water. So we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please invest in your health now. So what's the Thai recipe okay. like? Okay, an easy Thai recipe is what we call Thai sweet and sour stir fry. It's a regular in our home. 
We love Thai food. I think you may know that we spent nine winters in Thailand, so we're really into Thai food. Fran has taken uh, several cooking yeah. classes in Thailand. And I will say many of the recipes are complicated, but mm. this is a nice, easy one. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> So we love Thai food and this dish is very easy to make and it tastes so good with a mild flavorful sauce. Not real spicy on this Unless one. Unless you want it to be. Yeah, but. Yeah, I'll tell you how you can spice it up if you like. So you take a small onion and, and cut it up. Chop it. Chop it. Four cloves of garlic minced and cut up veggies of your choice. Here you can use whatever you have in your refrigerator. I like to use carrots, green pepper, broccoli, yeah. red pepper, pea pods, green beans, whatever you have on hand. One cup of fresh or canned and drained pineapple chunks. Mm -hmm. One tomato. So on the pineapple, yeah. you can use fresh pineapple or even the yeah. can and yeah. drain the liquid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We always use the fresh, but yeah. if you don't have that handy, you can use canned. Mm -hmm. One tomato cut into wedges. Mm -hmm. And then for the sauce, a half a cup of chili sauce, a half a cup of water, mm -hmm. some uh, light soy sauce or aminos, and cooked brown rice. So here's what you do. You mix, you, you stir fry the vegetables and you uh, pour in the sauce. And um, just first I cook the onion and garlic in a little water or vegetable broth. And then I add the rest of the veggies. And then finally the pineapple and tomatoes. Now, if you like, you can add some tofu. Mm. Uh, we like the extra firm tofu that uh, we drain and press the water out and cut into small cubes and add to the stir fry. Mm -hmm. um, so mix this all up, heat it well, and then serve it over brown rice. Mm -hmm. It's really simple. And if you like it spicy, then the chili sauce is a little spicy, but if you want it spicier, you can add some sriracha sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sort of like it, yeah. you know, just like you described yeah. it. So, but it's good, it's easy and quick, and um, it uses up a lot of the veggies that you have in your fridge. It's fantastic eating. I mean, it is a delicious dish and not too difficult right. to make. So, friend, it's time to give out your bonus dessert recipe. And... It is my favorite. Okay, favorite is banana ice cream with chocolate sauce. That chocolate sauce. No, I sauce. didn't say banana ice cream. <laughs> I said banana ice cream. Yeah. Here's what you do. So you would take four ripe bananas, peel them, slice them, and put them in the freezer for several hours at least. Then when they're frozen, you take the frozen banana slices and place them in a food processor, uh, if you like, with a little plant milk to make it a little creamier. Mm -hmm. And you process on high till the mixture becomes creamy. Now you may have to open the top and move the mixture down once or twice to get it all into the food processor. When it looks like soft serve ice cream, scoop it into dishes and serve, or you can place it in a plastic container and freeze for later. That's what we do. And yeah. then when you want to serve it, you just take out that container. Yeah, and let it warm up a little bit and yeah. scoop it out. Yeah. Now here's some suggested, suggested additions to the ice cream. Oh, yeah. You can add cocoa powder. For chocolate ice cream. You can add vegan chocolate chips. Love them. Chopped walnuts. You mm -hmm. can add a scoop of peanut butter to make it um, taste richer and more peanutty. Mm -hmm. You can put in frozen berries. Now they have to be frozen, mm -hmm. but you, uh, if you have frozen strawberries or blueberries or whatever, you can add that. Nice. And you can add a little maple syrup if you want to make it taste more like a butter pecan. You can put a little maple syrup and some pecans. But wait, there's more. Oh, there's yes. the chocolate sauce, which is a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. Take a small saucepan and add a half a cup of that cocoa powder that I mentioned just a minute ago, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of maple syrup, and a quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of plant milk. <laughs> you mix all these ingredients on a very low heat for about two minutes until you have a chocolate sauce. 
Then I pour it into a glass container and keep it in the refrigerator. It lasts a long time unless you eat it really fast, but it's delicious. It tastes fantastic and it's not unhealthy like the kind of chocolate syrup you'd buy in the store. No, and it's so rich yeah. and creamy and oh my gosh. Really good. I like and, it on the butter pecan. But you can tell we're chocoholics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. Easy to make, inexpensive, healthy, plant-based, mouth-watering <laughs> dinner recipes plus dessert. Perfect for plant-based beginners and old pros as well. I just decided, by the way, to put these recipes on our website. So uh, I think uh, everyone who's watching can, can see them there. And I know that Fran would love to read your comments about these recipes. And of course, we both would appreciate your subscribing to our channel and getting notified when a new video is available for you. And we look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. soon. Bye for Bye. now.